They're back again. Mm. So basically, one of my subscribers on Instagram must have sent me a DM. And he asked me to obviously react to this video. And he was like, this is not the sort of content that you usually react to. But maybe he wanted to try something new. So I opened up the link, looked at it. And I thought, nah, this is not the sort of content that I want to react to. So I just left it. I even messaged him back saying, yo, respect for obviously sending me the link and that, but this is not the sort of thing that I want to react to and that. We started talking about other stuff, property development and that. And I was making my way home driving and I thought to myself, do you know what? This is our problem as human beings and that. We're too routine, too routine, too routine. We do the same thing day in, day out. We don't, you know what I'm saying, innit? Well, me personally don't like to try new things all the time, a lot of the time, innit? So I thought, you know what? Even if I don't like the content or it's not the sort of content that I usually react to and that, you don't know. I might say something and there might be some hidden gems in this video in it. So I thought, you know what? One time, like, how's it, is it, not, is it really going to hurt me to do a quick 45 minute reaction video? So, yeah, let's run the thing. So basically, this video is about some prank thing where this you is being disrespectful or something like that in front of one girl. Uh, 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 she's on a uh, one youth's on a date with one gal and her dad is there in it so yeah let's let's run the thing or whatever in it Yo, 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 what you do was, hey, look, man, Florida made him just tapping in once again, man, I'm dead to this, bro, hey, look, she DM'd me on Instagram saying that this would be a great prank to do on her stepdad because she was watching all the other videos, you feel me, so, yeah, why you say this is gonna be a great prank on your stepdad? Because my dad's really strict. Hey, look, man, and she said he was in the Marines, so, you know, like, he real serious, you feel me? So, you telling me that you nervous right now? Yeah. Because I don't, I don't really care. What's good? What's good? War, war, war. What's your name? My name's Rob. What's your name? War. war. First of all, first off, right off the bat, whatever the fuck they want to call it, you have failed as a father if your daughter brings back a boy with that stupid ass fucking hairstyle, blood. Eh? Anyhow, I had a daughter, even my little sister, she bring back all my youth that's got a hairstyle like that. We got a fucking problem, blood. You see, you see a youth like this, yeah? Let me peel it back a little bit so you can see the hairstyle. Obviously, I, you couldn't miss it, obviously. A youth like this, you know he's not employed. A person like that is not employable. And if they are employed, they probably work in a fucking warehouse and that. Yeah? You could never dare put someone at the front of your company. You don't want someone like that representing your company. I know he's not a stockbroker. I know he's not a lawyer. I know he's not even a fucking electrician or an accountant, blood. He's probably, obviously, some YouTuber or some fucking idiot that just streams games or whatever, innit? So, right off the bat, you failed as a father if your daughter brings on this jackass and his name's fucking... What do you mean you're introducing yourself to a grown-ass man and you're telling him your name is War, you know? Oh, yeah, there'll be a war, right? Come to the right fucking place. Let's go. Let's go. War, war, war. What's your name? My name's Rob. What's your name? War. War? War. Like, war. I, I like to go to war and sh You ever been to war? In the street, you know what I mean? It's not war. Nah, that, that's war. Okay, I was actually in war. That was not war. You was in war? What you mean? I was in war. So, I believe, obviously, he don't go by the name war, I assume, innit? But, obviously, the girl told him that the dad's in the Marines and that. So, by her, by him saying, oh my name is War and that, that's going to aggravate him right off the bat, isn't it? So he, he selected that name on purpose. That's like, for example, let me give you another example. If I, if I meet a chick and that, and she goes to introduce me to her parents and they're like some proper Christian, Jehovah's Witness, God-fearing, Catholics, whatever, yeah? And I tell, they ask me, what's my name? And I say, it's Lucifer. Yeah? You understand what I'm trying to say? Marine Corps. Marine? We actually fought real wars. Nah, he ain't... You ain't tell me that. I told you. For real? Nah. And hey, we, hey, we both warriors then, you feel me? How did you earn your warrior stripes? But I earned my stripes in the streets, man. What do you do in the streets to earn your war stripes? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you asking too much question right now, bro. Well, what, what? I mean, you show up with my daughter and sit down and introduce yourself as a man of war. What am I supposed to I'm think? Saying, I bro. am a man of war. Me too. We, okay. we both warriors, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Right or wrong. 
I don't know you yet, so I can't, I can't get you, that You can't prove to me that you're a warrior? I can show you the scars. I yes, can show you scars too. Excellent. Show me, show me some scars. Real? Or is this a joke? No. Okay. I told you. He's asking, is this real or is this a joke? Because he knows this is a fucking joke, man. It's a fucking joke, man, bro. Your mother, that'd be nice. <laughs> I don't know how old this you is. 19, 20. Forget my sister or my daughter dating this you. I wouldn't even want to be friends with this fucking idiot. So, there's no way I'd want my daughter or my fucking sister to be dating a fucking jackass like this, boy. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try. Okay, tell me about yourself. I what you, you want to know? How do you make your money? How do you provide for my daughter? How are you gonna make her happy? What's your plan? Hold on, man. You got it, man. You going too fast, man. Car right now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm on, I'm on the perk right now. You feel me? So you gotta I'm slow down. I'm, I'm on sign right now. You feel me? So you gotta like slow down what you saying. But like, so what you mean? How I make my money? You showed up to meet my daughter's father. Hi. Is that what you're telling me? Bro, why you, bro? Why you, why you tweaking? What's wrong with smoking, bro? You did a lot better than this. Trust me, fam. I don't give a fuck how he treats you. Eh? I don't give a fuck if he gives you a foot massage 24 hours a day. Bro, listen, bro. Like I was saying, with my money, I make money all type of ways, you feel me? You can okay. put me on Pluto and I'm going to turn that up. You feel all me? Right. How do you make money now? I make a lot of ways. Which way you want to know? Whatever the way is most legitimate. None. Ain't no legitimate way. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a hustler, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I'm in the streets, I'm a chef to the street. You feel okay. me? They call me Chef. Chef War in the streets. Chef War in the streets. Yep, that right. part. What's your real name? I'm a chef and I go to war. War? War is the, the war. name that's on your birth certificate. War. War. I was born just like that. Interesting parents. Well, what's your real name? This is for real? Come on, man. I was born a warrior. Look, my dad bent earned his stripes, man. Right now he in jail, though. He locked up. He coming out soon. 2053 or something like that. You feel me? <laughs> man, say coming out soon, 2053 or something like that. 2053? Bro, he was a big warrior on the streets, bro. Okay, so he was a tough guy. You following in his footsteps? They call my dad first degree. Are you right behind him? They call him first degree. First degree. I'm assuming that has something to do with why he's in. Murder, ain't it? First degree murder. In prison. Good job. Are you following in his footsteps? Of course, that's my dad, man. Like father, like son. So you know what I'm saying? What you be able to do for my daughter from behind bars? Wait, what? He provides for me, okay? He provides for me. How can you provide for her if you're behind bars? You just told what me. What you mean behind bars? I'm not finna go to jail, bro. I know how my dad ended up in there, bro, because the fuck nigga snitched on him, bro. Come on, but I don't want to say too much, but you know what I'm saying? They call him first. Let's say this was a real situation. The man, the dad, the white man, seems like a serious man. In a real situation, even if the girl liked the guy, she knows she couldn't bring this guy to meet her dad. No fucking way. No way. If she truly did want him, want him to be, she would have to give him a prep. Like, listen, this is the way he is, da, 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 whatever, in it, yeah? She's not just going to rock up with this fucking jackass and that. She's going to have to warm the dad up over weeks, yeah? Probably show, probably show him a couple of pictures and that, whatever, in it, yeah? Just so he's prepared for the foolishness, blood. There's no way. There's no way in a real life situation, if your dad is a serious man, there's no way the daughter would want to bring some fucking jackass like this to go and meet the dad. No way. Impossible. And if she she was confident, like, yeah, 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 that means she, yeah. she, she can't respect you as a dad. No way. You know why they call him for his degree? He did that, you feel me? And there was a witness on the scene. He should have popped the witness. Mm -hmm. No witnesses. Now, if that was me, if that was the case, now I know what to do. Boom, boom. Both of their ex marked the spot. I'm saying, I ain't gonna, you, you get what I'm trying to say, bro. You know he's gonna be in prison within five years, correct? I don't think so. With that mentality, are you kidding me? I know your dad tweaking right now. Why, why are you saying? I just told you, bro. I'm a smart nigga, bro. You could be smart all you want, but I'm if you're smart. following in the footsteps of somebody that paved the way for I'm you to go to prison, how is that ever gonna work out for you or her? 
I'm not following the footsteps all the way. My dad, he took the stairs, man. But you're living the same life he lived before he pulled me, the stairs. Me, I'm taking the elevator. You feel me? It's different now. Okay. That was back then. My dad Ben got locked up. You feel me? Now okay. I'm taking the elevator, bro. I upgraded. You feel Did me? Did you graduate high school? Come on, bro. I dropped out. Of course he didn't. Obviously, the dad knows the answer to that question, but he just wants confirmation. You know, like when you want to validate your psyche, yeah? He didn't fucking graduate. Where did he even fucking go to university, bro? And I still got my diploma, I ain't gonna lie. I got my diploma, you know what I'm saying? There's probably a reason your mother sent me to meet him instead of you. What would you say? Because you're way better than this. But he treats me good. He's treating right? you good. We love okay, each for how long? For the, for the time being, he's been treating me really good. Come on, man. This is my number one baby right here, though. I ain't gonna lie. Good, 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 good. Stop her while you're in front of me. What you mean? I don't appreciate This is disrespectful. Just stop this. Put your hands on the table. Let's right. do it that way. How right. did disrespectful, bro? This it's is disrespectful. This is true. I don't appreciate disrespect. That's the one thing you're never gonna get out of me is any sort of being nice right, after you right. disrespect me in front of my daughter. Okay. Bring tweaking right now, bro. I, I, I All I did was put my arm you. around here. That's true love, bro. That's disrespectful. Bro, it's not your fucking bro, blood. This is supposed to be potentially gonna be your stepfather uh, in law one day or something. You know what I'm trying to say. To me, that's disrespect. How does disrespect? Just keep your hands to yourself while you're in front of me. What you do outside of my control is out of my control, and I'll never try to do that, but you can't do that in front of me. That might fly with anybody else that ain't gonna fly with me. But I ain't gonna lie, yo, your dad tweaking right now, bruh. Let's, let's, let's talk about something else. Come on, but yo, you lucky that's your dad, bruh. I ain't gonna lie, you lucky that's your dad. Cause I'm oh, what, blood? I don't tolerate. I'm lucky, I'm her dad. I don't tolerate disrespect. What is that too. supposed to mean? I don't tolerate disrespect. That's what I mean, bro. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just demanding that you respect me. Okay? What would you like to talk about? Anything. We can talk about something else. Okay. Okay. How's school? School's crazy. You still going? Yeah. What are your grades? They're good. They're good. Man, I'm finna use the bathroom right quick. You feel me? I, I do what I do, bro. <laughs> God knows what he's gonna say. <laughs> you can only imagine what he's about to say about this fucking clown. The hell you mean thank God, bro? What you what he's okay, I need a man. Who <laughs> wants to place a bet that all they're gonna do once he leaves the table is talk about this fucking idiot? Man, tripping, bro. Yo, why you keep talking crazy and talking back, bro? I can back it up. Oh, the hell you mean you can back it up, bro? What about this place? He's tripping, bruh. How are you? Yeah, this is real, then. How are we supposed to introduce him to the rest of our family? Everything will be fine, you know? They'll understand. The last guy you dated, we were like, okay, but he didn't have the kind of attitude that this he, other guy. He just... This is, this is not the path me and your mother worked so hard to get you on. I don't, I don't get this at all. This is not making any sense to me. Is there a camera hidden somewhere? Am I supposed to be getting punked right now? Oh, you're getting punked all right, mate. No, I'm, I'm, this is, this is real. Hey, look, y'all, right now, I'm currently inside the bathroom. Oh, my days, he's even got fucking gold teeth, bro. You feel me, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm in there, the dad look like, I ain't gonna lie, he look real serious. He look real strict, I ain't gonna lie. How the fuck did they even get their head to stand up like that? To y'all, bro. I'm in there right now, bro. I'm so scared. They said I ain't scared. But look, man. Anyways, bro, I'm about to go back out there. You treat me good. You treat me good. You know that's all you should matter. You he, know? he could treat you good for how long before he's in prison? But we don't. Behaving but we don't, the way he's behaving already, I can tell you, he's headed right, right for it. But we don't know that. We don't, we don't know that. You don't know that. I don't. I've know been that. around long enough to realize when something's a dead end. That's a dead end. They should rename him Dead End. Oh! Oh, oh, he oh, needs God. some milk. Yeah, dead in the trenches. <laughs> well, that's the way it's headed. So behaving like that, typically when you meet somebody's parents, you want to put on a good, you know, a good face and. That ain't it. But we're together, so what's gonna happen? That doesn't mean we have to accept it. I hope it gets better from here, but I guess we'll see what happens when it comes out of the back. Of course it's gonna get better. It can't get any worse. Yeah, everything, everything will be fine, you know? Just, maybe you just got up on the wrong foot, you know? Yeah, I left the trap horn over here. What you call it? 
you know, Flock had called me, you feel me? He wanted me to serve to him right now. You know what I'm saying? He told me to call my other phone. I'm about to tell him I'm about to drop it off to him right quick, though. Let me see. The dad is fuming right now. Yeah. You see his skin's pink. Yeah, it ain't usually like that. <laughs> My phone wasn't ringing? No, your phone wasn't ringing. You know what I'm saying? I knew you would have been told me that, you feel me? Because you don't like when I lose my customer. Yeah, I'm fine with that, so you can get studying. I'm fine. Yeah, I've been studying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm focused. I've been studying. Well, we got a year left. Yeah. I'll be done soon. I'll be done soon. If you could do anything in this world other than what you're doing right now, what would it be? Oh, he's ignoring him. Oh, he's going to get himself knocked out, blood. Hold on, but I'm dealing with a customer right now, you feel me? A customer. Custo. Are you doing a drug deal right in front of me? Is that what's going down right now? No, bro. A cust I got a customer, bro. Just chill. He's, he's, provi he's, pro you know, he's providing for me, you know? I'm handling business right now, you feel me? Dad needs to provide him with a knuckle sandwich, boy. It's the type of business that concerns me. You got my little girl here. What kind of positions are you putting her in? Now you just told me to be quiet. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could get fucking... <laughs> Listen, when man them are running up on you and they're going to really do some damage to get what they need to get, blood, they don't give a fuck who you're with, blood. You see when these people do these home invasions and that, blood, I watched a video yesterday. There were some youths from East London, Leighton and Wolverhampton. They drove all the way up to Northampton and went through the back door, smashed through the window or whatever. Maybe it's got a patio door at the back. And they went to go, they went in this person's yard to rob some, some weed plants, some skunk plants and that. Ended up stabbing the man and he died. If the girl had got involved, she probably would have got one chest shot as well, blood. Yeah, people don't give a shit, blood. Now, he did something in the, just a few seconds before us. You got my little girl here. What kind of... Yeah, but yeah, anyway. Um, it, it, there's so many stories out there where the girls get caught in a crossfire and that. So, yeah, you don't want your daughter hanging around with someone that's, that's fucking dealing drugs, bro. Positions are you putting her in? Now you just told me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Quiet. That's great. I'm calm. Yo, it was good. Fam, he looks like he's ready to rip his head off, boy. Hey, hey I'm about to drop it off to you in a bit, but right now I'm just handling some shit, you know me? My girl had uh, her stepdad, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 I'm going to pull up on you, you know what I'm saying? But right after I'm done with this, I'm going to drop the pack. R regardless of whether it's legitimate business or illegal business, I don't give a fuck even if his mom phoned him. You do not sit at a table with someone. And have and take a phone call, yeah. You no, sorry, excuse me. I've got to take this important phone call. Bam, bam, bam. Find out what the person wants. Okay, boom. Put the phone down. You don't start talking on the phone at a, at a restaurant, at a table. No, man, that's some fucking manners, man. Good afternoon. Okay. Especially when it's a meeting like this as well. Maybe if it's a couple friends and they're ultra familiar with each other. Yeah, cool. Yeah, if it's you, your two brethren and whatever in it. But if you're meeting someone new for the first time and it's you get me? It's a meeting, like, you know what I'm saying? It's the parent and shit. Nah, blood. If you need to take the phone call, I ain't saying don't take it. I'm saying go somewhere else, yeah? Excuse yourself, politely. Mm-hmm. He said he's... He said... If I had a daughter and she's going to go and leave with her boyfriend to go and do a drug deal, you're not coming back to my yard. No, 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 you can fuck off. You're not coming back to my yard, blood. But yeah, we have much bigger, bigger plans for her than you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be as nice as I possible. Nah, fam, don't. Why are you apologize? Why are you saying sorry? Fam, he's already disrespected. She told you to shush. You're taking a drug dip. Can right now, but I just can't do. I can't do this. This is way beyond what we had expectations for her with. What you mean? Yo, this girl right here about to be a millionaire, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna be a millionaire she when I die. 
I'm not worried about her money. Man, she I'm the more worried about her man, she the man, she the first lady, man. You feel first me? lady of what? First lady. Isn't that she the first lady? What war? Of the streets. The streets. Okay. She could be a first lady over in my neck of the woods. Where she's not gonna be put in situations like this, where you're gonna potentially either get What was up with your dad, man? Does, he just oh. cares about me. Now your dad's talking crazy, man. Move your blood clot. Um, boy. Disrespectful, man. I already asked you once not to put your hands on her in front of me. Just don't do it. We can make this as peaceful as you want to be, or we can make this as hostile as you want to be. Man, your dad took it. Yo, you hungry or something? You want something to eat? But I got you, man, not man. Here. What's up with your dad, dude? Just, just relax, you know? Yeah, that guy's got too much patience, boy. You should not be allowing this man to disrespect me the way he is. If he had any ounce of respect in his body, he would be doing what I asked. Because it's nothing out of the ordinary to not want some guy hanging all over my little girl. Man, listen, bro. Why are you tripping like that, dude? Bro? I don't trip. I have everything but trip on my Fucking mind right now. Slap. The only thing I'm worried about is her well-being. And I, I have no since... idea how you are going to be the one to provide and protect her for what she needs to be. I could protect her, trust me, bro. What? My name, my name, what, well what would she need to be protected? My name, well respected. Why would she need to be protected if she's around you? You're already putting her in situations where you have to protect her. That's not true, bro. That is, not, is that true. not true. That's, what you just That's told not me. true, you bro. I'm just saying I could protect her, bro. Cause you said that I could, I could protect her, bro. What do you have to protect her from in your life right now? That glizzy. What? You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna protect her. Same way it protect me multiple times, it's gonna protect her. Feel me? Straight like that. Come on, you you know, we we, we, we warriors. You, feel, you know who go to war with. You feel me? You know who go to war with. Same way, bro. Come on, man. Your version of war and mine are totally different. What you mean? We both do the same thing, bro. Not even close. What, what, what do you do that I don't do? Um, I carry myself with a little bit of respect. Me too. One, there's no way. Me too. There's no way. Me too. Sorry. You just don't fit the profile, my man. See, I don't got to. We had man. way better expectations I'm for her growing streets. up. We put her through private school. I'm We've been putting her through college. She says she's been going, but I guess we'll see. I'm from the street, so you know what I'm saying? All that that you talking about, out the door. Okay, you know what well, what's your come up? All that college and stuff, out the door. You what's the come up? Shit you were right going in the streets doesn't mean you need to die in them. What's your come up? Who said I'm going to die in the streets, bro? The way you're headed, my man, I can't see anything but. Don't, don't say stuff like that, okay? Hey, but anyways, man, we about to start an OnlyFans, you feel me? That's about to be the come out right now, because I heard OnlyFans make a lot of money. OnlyFans, just like a, um, how should I explain it to your dad? How should I explain it to him? It's like a mini version. It's like a, it's like a mini version of, you know what I'm saying? Basically. And people, they got to pay just to subscribe to us. Who's going to be in this? Me and her. Oh. <laughs> Who else? Hey, yeah, I already told her we're going to make a bag off that, baby, ain't it? Yeah, people make money out of it. We need really good money. They also make, make a bag. money hooking on the corner, too. Is that what you're going to do next? No, because I'm not going to do it other people. So you're going to be doing on the internet. With me, bro. Finishing a college degree. How do you expect to ever get work after you do that? Ain't no work. This is work, bro. We're gonna be millionaires. I'm then, talking to her. Just then we'll tight. become millionaires. Right you. Do you know what? I'm glad he said that. You know, I'm glad he said. How do you expect to get work after you obviously do OnlyFans and you expose yourself to the world? Because obviously, the man them in the manosphere and that. They can easily say, oh, you know, you're for the streets and that, and the world's not going to want you or whatever to these hoeing ass chicks, these three or fours and that, that they have on their show, in it, yeah? And it's a way to diss them. But you know it's real. You know it's true. You know it comes from the heart when a father looks at his daughter. Because it's easy to say to some gyal, oh, yeah, you're just for the streets. The workplace ain't going to want you. you. You've ruined your career and that. It's easy to say that to some gyal that, you know what I'm saying, innit? you're trying to get one up on her and trying to diss her on Sly, innit? It's like, it's like a shaming tactic, you know, like, I'm not saying it's a shaming tactic, but it's similar to a shaming tactic, like when girls say, oh, um, 
oh no, why ain't you got no kids? You're a 35 year old man, why ain't you got no kids? It's because no one wants you and that. It's a shaming tactic and that. But for a father to look at his daughter and say, if you do this, how are you going to get employment afterwards? That's how you know it's real, it's true, it comes from the heart, man. Because he is not saying it to diss her, innit? he's looking at it factually, yeah? Objectively, not subjectively, blood. Do you expect to make money or have some sort of reputation? They won't come become millionaires, then I'm that's when he's gonna start. Reputation, see? Because he knows women like Kim Kardashian, they fuck themselves, man. How, how's their sex tape of you circulating on the net, blood? Mm -hmm. And then people like Kim Kardashian think because they're a billionaire, they should get invited to the Queen's birthday party, the Queen's Jubilee or whatever it was. Blood! The Queen doesn't care if you're rich on or the, or whatever in it, yeah. Blah, she don't want no women that have sex tapes on the net at her party, blah. Come on, man. Come on, man. The money doesn't buy a class, blood. And just becomes because you become rich, you can't rewrite and undo your past, blood. Ask you for money, bro. Then that's when you gonna ask her for money, bro. Then you're gonna ask her for money. How do you expect to get a real job scary out there? Scary ass, man. Just scary, bro. I, ain't gonna lie. So I think I think she's scared of him, bro. I think she is scared of him. I see a future between me and her. You feel me? I I don't. I see a, a brief one, maybe. Man, hey, where your mom at, bro? I even bring your mom. You don't want to meet her mother. Her mother would have a lot more to say about this than I would. That woman. Maybe her mom's wearing, Maybe her mom's the one that wears the trousers in a relationship. She has worked her ass off to put her through every bit of school that she got, not to watch her end up making with somebody like you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Money is money, bro. You money know? is money, but there's honor in how you make it, and there's no honor in what you're doing. I don't give a damn exactly. about honor. Amen. I don't even believe in God, but amen, fam. You should. As long as you become millionaires, you're going to ask her for money. When she become millionaire, right or wrong. I don't need her money. I have plenty of money. <laughs> and I certainly am not taking money off of her. After what money? What money do you have? have? Plenty. You don't got no money in the streets. Okay. You don't got no stripes, man. Right now, I've got 250000 tied up in her college. Face that. What can you do with Face that? that? Man, I can always, if I make Sounds money, believable. I make money with that, I can always Sounds pay believable. Back. How are you going to pay it back? Making porn? This man capping, bro. Yo, you, why you capping, bro? I haven't even capped yet. I'm just going to bust a cap in you, blood. We're not there yet. Sounds believable. Hey, what type of haircut you got? I haven't had hair since the 90s because of her. Because it's stressing my <laughs> So, I'll probably lose what I have. <sighs> you know your mother, your grandmother's gonna flip when she sees this. You don't even have me to worry about. I'm the nice one. Her mother and grandmother are not gonna be as nice as I'm trying to be right now. I don't give a damn. You my should. girl is my girl, bro. I really don't. I really, I really didn't even care to meet you, you feel me? She the one that's like, oh, she wants you, it'll be a good idea to meet him. I mean, at this point, he can't really say anything more disrespectful anyway. So it's just, just adding extra salt, an extra nail in the coffin, the extra, yeah, he's just taking the piss, blood. Um, I'm like, they don't give a f about what your dad's saying. Like, I can care less. Your opinion don't matter to me, you feel me? That tells me everything I need to know about you. Part of my family, I don't give a f work that way. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a part of her family. I don't give a damn about your side. You I'm are on her side. Family right now. Yes, you I am. Speed bump yes, I am. Life yes, I am. Here for right now. There's no way this is gonna work. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. So you ain't tell your dad what we got. You ain't tell him. No, don't say you're pregnant. We about to have a baby. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> I want to see the dad's reaction one sec. Let me peel it back two seconds, blood. Yes, I am. Her life yes, I am. She's here for right now. There's no way this is going to work. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. So you ain't tell your dad what we got? You ain't tell him? We about to have a baby. We're, we're planning on it. We're no, we're about to have a baby. She's pregnant right now. She just she was just scared to tell you, but she's pregnant right now. She's two months pregnant. So like I was saying. So what do you want from me? Like I was saying. What do you want? We, from, I'm not we, we got our here. own what little family going me? on. You feel me? I just want you to accept this. There's no way that's ever gonna happen. I don't. I don't. Babe, I don't give a 
about this nigga, but I don't care what he's telling me right now. I don't give a damn, nigga. We about to have a kid. We about to have our own life going on, bro. He ain't like, why, why are you calling a white man a nigga? Come, come on. You gotta be worrying about you. You gotta be worried about your kid. You feel me? Our kid, and that's it, bro. You know what you've done. You put yourself in a position to be a single mother within, I'd give it a year. Listen, she's a single mama. Well, I mean, obviously, this is a fictitious, because obviously it's been, but there's certain gal right now, they're pregnant with some waste man's baby. Yeah, her and her waste man are together, but they, she's actually a single mom. She just doesn't know it. The clock is ticking, blood. She's got an imaginary sand timer beside her head. Yeah? It could be a month. It could be 10 months. At some point, she's going to become a single mom. And you know what? I know someone. <laughs> um, there's a girl, yeah? That's about, I don't know, 20-something or whatever. She's pregnant, and she's not even... She's pregnant with the baby. The baby guy and drops soon. And she's not even with the baby father. So she's a single mom before the baby's... She's even giving birth to the baby. How mad is that, bro? What's going on with it? Maybe. But you don't know me, bro. If he stays out long enough to see his kid being born. I didn't think of chipping right now, bro. Yo, why are you even talking crazy like that, bro? Talk I'm kind of done talking to you. This is between me and her, because right now... I'm you're... saying, why, why are you saying, oh, I'm about to go to jail? I'm not going to do none of that, bro. You did a drug deal in front of me on the phone. You're getting ready to go drop off drugs. It's only a matter of time before they slap your ass and take you right where you need to be. But listen, bro, I, your dad. I already did three years in the feds, but I don't give a fuck about none of that extra shit, you feel me? Good. You'll be right at home. Tell your dad I said hello. He'd be really proud. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like when people talk crazy about the my dad, bro. I, it I ain't lie. Hold on, me. hold on, bro. You tweaking right now, bro. You tweaking right now, bro. It doesn't matter to you me. Tweak, you tweak, yo, you tripping right now, bro. You talking I'm, crazy about my dad, but don't don't talk about my dad right like now. that, bro. He coming, he coming home soon, bro. You tripping, bro? Well, uh, welcome home, dad. You're gonna be high fiving him on the way out. <laughs> what a line! Hey, he need <laughs> they need to fucking clip that, and that needs to go viral. That look a bit there still. What are you thinking? Yo, why you talking crazy? Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Don't even talk, bro. Hold on, bro. Why you talking crazy about my dad, bro? G bro. You tripping right now, bro. You can the see man's him. in prison Yo. as a first degree, and his son is following in his footsteps. What am I supposed to say positive about the man? He hasn't contributed to society, nor have you. Do you pay taxes? Hey, don't be clicking your... Hey, hey. You better be ready for the smoke, blood. Don't be clicking your, your knuckles and... Being quiet and looking away like you're gone. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah? Better be ready for the smoke, man. I want to see how the dad's going to react. Because them marine man then, them man there, yeah? Them man they know how to, ah, yeah, them man they know how to throw hands, yeah? So, them marines man know how to swing. They are trained to disarm people with knives and that. So... You can pop right your now, knuckles bro. all you want, it doesn't freak me I, out. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, they ain't call me war for no reason. The f you think I was just born I didn't go to war for no reason. Like I was saying, like I was saying, bro, I was born that way, bro. It's running in my bloodline, it's running in my family. You, you wanted to become a warrior. Me, I, I was in. I ain't joined. Getting a bit too close. Eh? There's an invisible barrier that you don't cross personal space. And I feel like he's invading his personal space, but we'll see. Join it. Let's see if the dad says, move your hands, let's see. I was more like, I was born in it. I was born to be a warrior, you feel me? Gotcha. What he's gonna start touching him, watch. He's taking an inch, he's allowing it, so he's gonna take a mile. He's giving him an inch, he's gonna take him out. You should have put your talents to good you use. Join, you joined, you joined the, you joined the Marines, you wanted to be. You Most like, people, you, even when you listen you, to music, they want to come out of the streets, and it seems bro, like you're perfectly comfortable being in. Bro, there. you a wannabe, bro. You wanted to be a Marine. <laughs> a you wannabe. wanted, yes, wannabe. you wanted okay. to be in the Marines, and you did that. That's a wannabe. Me, I was born in it. Gotcha. I was born in it, I ain't joined in it. You joined in it, I, I was born in it. I was born like, oh yeah, we already know, like, when he come, you feel me? Why is it that most people that do anything in the streets, all they want to do is come out of it? Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that.
You want to do is stay in it and just see where it goes. We'll send that. Yeah, that's, that, that is literally the definition of a wannabe. Someone that actually wants to live that lifestyle. I know someone, if they could have it their way, if they could be a millionaire from selling drugs and be banging all these holes and that and be a drug dealer and maybe shoot people from time to time and you know what I'm saying it yeah be the top man in the ends and never get nicked if they could live that reality they would they wouldn't want to look no no one's reality should be wanting to just be a fucking worker and working for the next man in there but you should be what you, you your ideal reality should be wanting to be your own boss, running your own sort of business or be an entrepreneur, have multiple investments and that. But I know some people, I know one particular person, if they could have it their way, if they could be a drug dealer, be banging some 10 out of 10 holes, and obviously everyone want to bang 10 out of 10s, isn't it? But if they could be banging all these different girls, have six different baby mums, one Puerto Rican, one Mexican, one flipping Spanish thing, one mixed race thing, you get me a couple lighties, a couple brown skin things, whatever, a couple dark skin things in it, yeah? They would have that as their reality and that. Being untouchable by the cops and that. Be driving around in Bentleys with APs. There's, certain, there's someone I know, they would want that to be their reality and that. Yeah? You shouldn't want to be living that lifestyle. It, like I said, I know someone, if they could live that reality and never get arrested, then that's their existence. They would love that. That's a fantasy for them. Who said that, bro? I'm Everybody. A, I'm gonna leave the streets, bro. Trust me, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the streets. How street, you gonna bro. leave the streets? Come on, bro. I'm gonna leave the streets, bro. Well, now you have a kid on the way. I hope you in the coffin, bro. That's how you are gonna leave the streets, bro. He's gonna get turned packed. Don't expect any support. Okay, and you the and you the grandpa, bro. You see, he's just a green ass grandpa, bro. I'm not even gonna let kid meet him, bro. Like now, nah, the best bro. thing you can do for the child that, when you have him is to keep him as far away from him as you can. But You're look. doing it again. Doing what? You're doing it again. Doing what, bro? Being disrespectful for no reason. I've already asked you three times not to put your hands on my daughter. Fuck, bro. Yo. Please, sorry. We came here to have a civilized conversation. This is not a good conversation, man. And it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go any better than it already has. Yo, why you just sitting there, bro? Talk to your dad, bro. You tripping, bro? I don't know. What you scared of him, bro? I don't know. I mean, we love each other. There's nothing else to say. what I'm saying, bro. You have choices to make. You can either come home, finish school, and do what we had planned for you, and we'll figure out if this child is actually a real thing, what to do. So what are you trying to say? You can't expect him to be Yeah, around. you know what, yeah? I'm not really one of them people who's pro-pro-abortion, and I don't even know where I really sit. Like, it just depends, innit? But definitely, if I ever had a daughter and that, or my little sister, God forbid, she'd get knocked up by some fucking damn fool, I would be promoting, I would be advocating. I would carry my little sister or my daughter wherever the hospital is if I have to walk on the motorway with her and my aunt to get her to have an abortion. Because if that fucking idiot is your father, your life is fucked, man. You have a bad start to life, boy. For it because of his lifestyle, he's not. No, he's not. That's short sighted and it's not gonna happen. He's not gonna be there. So, what you saying? You about to neglect your daughter all because uh, she dead? No, my daughter is my daughter no matter what. But with you all in the right. picture, I'm staying as far away from this as possible. With my job, I can't introduce him to people that I work with. Are you kidding me? Neither can. Trust me. Trust me. Remember, I mentioned about workplace and that. Just that hairstyle alone tells me you're a fucking joke, man, blood. And your mother. How can we Nigga, how you can? We both family? warriors, bro. What the f Man. Your on, version man. of a warrior and mine are totally different. Like I said, you were, you're one to be, nigga. You no, should be. I you should be. You, you have done nothing. You should be glad you that, nigga. Nothing. You should be glad that I'm accepting you, bro. Because you're one to be, bro. <laughs> I have to. You wanted you to be in the marine. You, you wanted to be in the marine. I ain't want to do this to people gotcha. in the streets. I, I was more like, oh yeah, this, this is, is the best you can come up with. Come on, For bro. And, and the other thing is, bro, you getting paid to do that, bro. That's your job, bro. It was. This is not my job. This is and real life survival skills. It was honor to it. This is real life survival There's skills. No this is this is my life. Do. This is my life right here, There's bro. There's no honor in what you do. I don't give a damn about honor, nigga. You should. Well, he's Says he's everything he's about providing. your character. Talking crazy, bro. That's the thing. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? 
Yo, what why is he providing for yo, right now? Where do you live? Why are you calling me a character? But I'm not no character. You, you the character. You're, character. you're the actor. I said you have no character. You're the actor. You're the character. You're the wannabe. What's your no, name? Sir. What's the name? Rob? What's no, your name? Sir. It What's is Rob. Rob. You can you're, call me Mr. Rob. Mr. Wannabe. Yeah, Mr. Wannabe. Okay. You're, you're, you're in the That's Marines. What I am. You're a wannabe. You're an actor. You're the character. That's what I am. You're a funny character, you're, actually. You're exactly right. I'm you a funny look, guy. You look so believable. This like, is... Yeah, you look this funny. Unbelievable. In the hood, you know what I'm saying? Yup, that part. Okay, so that's man. why you have to protect yeah, her Z because out. she's yeah. living in the hood and yeah. you know, doing yeah. her life. Yeah. yeah, that's Z. Yeah, that part is living by the Z code. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That part. Well, the car that you're driving, you're going to have to redo the lease or redo that however you want to do it because we're not going to provide for that anymore. You saw your dad treat you, right? Now you not, not, not know the real side of it. paid for If you want to do this on your own with this guy, by all means, do not, not come to us for help. We will not provide help. If you leave him behind, you can come home. We'll help you get the baby squared away. We can do all of that stuff, but we are not going to be involved with this guy. I can't have him attached to my name. And the sad thing is, obviously, we know this is a joke, but the sad thing is that there's so many thousands of girls, hundreds of thousands of girls that, all right, they're not going to be in this situation where the guy is acting crazy. Now, this, is a, this has happened in real life. In the history of the world, this has happened. So, there might not be, this situation might not occur too often than that, but there are hundreds of thousands of girls walking planet Earth right now with a Dickhead idiot boyfriend just like this. It don't matter what country. It could be America. It could be the UK. It could be the Netherlands. It could be fucking Papua New Guinea, blood. This is occurring around the world, blood. And I feel sorry for these parents that are normal people, hardworking people that have daughters and that, that could be something and that's just going to throw their life away because they get knocked up by some fucking idiot. Or they get murdered. Or they get slapped with a gun charge in that. You know how many girls are in jail right now because of their boyfriend, because the boyfriend hid a gun in their house. And the boyfriend said, if you love me, yeah, you, you take you take the, the burden, you will ride the charge. And there's girls that would ride the charge for their boyfriend. There's girls out here who, I've had a girl say to me, if you was in jail, I would smuggle drugs in for you. But what if you get caught? Huh? There's girls willing to do five years for a guy. When girls fall in love with man, they just turn dumb. I have security clearances with his line of work. No, there's no way this is ever gonna work. Oh, well, this, this is going now to you work. see the real side of her, right? You see the real side of I'm Rob, right? Being, I'm just being honest. Nah, but I can't can, have you attached. No, bro, you acting like, like a right now, bro. Yeah, you can call me whatever you want. You acting like a. Nah, knock him out. 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 I don't give a fuck. You're not gonna stand in my face and disrespect me. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you, blood. My nah, job real shit. You acting like, bro. Okay. You acting we'll like see. a hoe, bro. Okay, we'll see. You acting like a hoe, bro. I'm a hoe that provides for my family you, you, and does you, the right you thing. Lucky, you lucky. You lucky. You heard that, I, nigga. I would have been slapping. Oh you. no. Hey, they ain't calling this one for but my man's yeah. Boy, I would have. Anyway, on with the video. I wish you would. You should. I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would have. Yeah, you're an actor, dog. I'll show you exactly what you yeah, would Yeah, you're an actor, you bro. You should have had your ass whipped a long time ago, son. <laughs> you're an actor, man. I'll slap you right now, bro. It wouldn't matter to me Real one shit. way or the other. I'll slap you right yeah. now, bro. You lucky you heard that. You fucking leave here on a stretcher. So, I'm just All letting right. you know. <laughs> what you mean my stretcher? What you mean? Laid nah, out. Hold on, hold on. Laid out. out on a stretcher is how oh, yeah? you would leave this restaurant. Oh, yeah? Yes. All right. I like, I like so that top. You, you've got a week to figure out the car situation. Um, we're not going to help with this. If you need help, if he's out of the picture, you're always welcome home. But you're not bringing him around your mother or your grandmother. I ain't going to lie. Nah, hold on. We got to outside. I'm about, I'm about to show you some. You want, you want me to go outside with you? We got outside. What are we handling outside? Do yeah. I need to call an ambulance first? <laughs> I need to call an ambulance first? We out. Come on. Come on, bro. I'm so serious. Serious? Go time. What are we handling? It's gang shit. Go time. Let's go, fam. Let's get it cracking, fam. The base there here, bro. About to handle business right quick. Come on, we had outside, bro. I'm actually business.
What's good, bro? What's up, man? What's good, bro? I'm here. What's good? You, you want to leave you, on a stretcher? You, you, you was talking you crazy, right? What stretcher no, are you talking about? I'm protecting my daughter. What do you got a camera here for? Man, don't worry about none of that, bro. What is this what bullshit? What you was talking crazy for? No, I'm not in there talking crazy. Don't worry I'm about none of that. I'm exactly just saying. You I'm just saying. Look, you're gonna end up in prison. I'm just you saying. can't take care of my kids. I'm kid. just saying. Why you, you was talking take... crazy, bro? I'm not talking you anything. Talking crazy? I can't back up. You was talking about a stretcher, right? You I ain't, ain't, ain't want to do this Get in front. Get your front... boy holding the camera. I ain't want to do this in front of your daughter. You feel me? I ain't want to. Yo, what the? He needs some milk. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank, bro. Yeah, this man tripping, what the never fuck? never associate with anybody like What? Me. I'm a little protective. What the fuck? Bro, that boy's in the Marines for real. That boy grabbed me quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he literally kicked it. I saw my man was about to reach into the bag, and he thought, right, boom, let me just... Ta -ta yeah, just twist him up quickly, innit? Nah. Bro, he must look down, bro. How you feel? I'm good, man. That was fun. <laughs> what was fun? That was fun. I really, you had me going for a while. I thought that was real. You thought it was real? I did, yeah. So, so how you knew it was a prank? My daughter would never associate with anybody like this. What? Yeah. I'm dead. When you meet somebody's dad for real, you should probably use real words. What yeah. I said wrong? It's it's not what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. Respect is a big thing when you meet someone's parents. Always remember that. Nah, but it's like... That guy is a... I like that guy, you know. You know what? I would love... Like, to, yeah, the, that is an ideal father-in-law. He's a real man. He's a respectable man. Yeah, that's a nice guy, man. I, I like that guy. They're hood types, you feel me? So it is no respect in this one. You get it? Yeah. So that's the prank, man. I don't know. Hey, look, we need to bring your daughter out here, man, because I ain't going to lie, she was nervous. Why you do this to me? <laughs> look. I'm sorry. Why you was acting so nervous? Like, you that scared? Yeah. Scared of me, she's scared of what I do to people. Man, he wasn't he wasn't gonna do nothing, man. <laughs> what you gonna do? Okay. I had already called you an ambulance. <laughs> be here in a <laughs> hey look man, make sure you like, comment, man. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that. Don't you think he looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin? That subscribe button, man. Without further ado, y'all stay tuned. My name's Rob. Ah uh, yeah, that's that that one was fun still. Um, I'm glad I reacted to it. So big you up, man. Like Red Ellis, you get me. Uh, at first, I rejected doing the video reaction, and I thought to myself, you know what? Sometimes in life, yeah, you know, you might think something's gonna come out, turn out a certain way, but it don't. And that's what literally happened with this job. I thought the job was gonna be a certain way. So basically, when I got this job, um, in February of twenty. 21 i went to the Birmingham office got my um, done the induction and that uh, worked at this job for two days and quit the job because i thought it was shit come to find out this job has turned out to be one of the best jobs i've ever had in my life blood uh, so much money on it as well comfortable cushy i work in the area that i live i get to go home for lunch breaks blood yeah I phone up my girl, oh yeah, right, can you make lunch now? Oh no, 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 I'm in an appointment at this time, whatever, innit? Or oh, boom, we just organise it and that. Yeah, get to leave home at like nine o'clock and that, get to my first job, it's so flexible. So sometimes, yeah, your first impressions can be wrong. So, yeah, but big you up though, man like Red Ellis for sending me this video link, innit? Stay wise, done, though.